Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to fix the battery drain issue on your iOS 17.1.1, which is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this app. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about, we have to close all the background apps. So the first one, you just need to check whether you're going through any background apps. So right now I'm not having any background apps. That's why I'm not having this one. So I'll be showing you this. So, uh, okay. So there are a lot of background apps right now. So this is one of the main reason why we are having the battery drain issue. So we need to close everything in the background. And this is what we have to do as the first and foremost step. After doing with the background apps is cleared, you need to check whether the issue is solved. If you're still having the issue, you can try the second step. That is all about, we have to update all the apps on your iPhone. For this, we just need to go over here, navigate to the app store. Now from here, we just need to, what we need to do is we just need to go over here in the profile icon. Now from here, we just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to go for here. As you can see, there are, these are the apps. So I'm getting the update option over here. If I scroll down, you can see there are update option for all the apps. But doing this individually is not going to work. So we have an option called update all. Just tap on the update all and update all, all your apps. It is going to take a little bit of time, but even though you just need to wait for this one, once it is successfully done, once afterwards it's successfully done, we just need to check whether the issue is solved. I found this from the Reddit and it even worked for many users. You can try this out. Most probably the issue will be completely fixed with the second step. Even done with this one, if it's still it's not working, you can try do these two coming steps, that is third and fourth. One among them is all about, you have to do a force restart on your iPhone. So to do a force restart, you have to press volume up, followed by volume down, and you have to press and hold the power button, unless and until you see the Apple logo. So you have to press volume up, followed by volume down, you have to press and hold the power button, unless and until you see the Apple logo. So force restart is actually a fix for many of the issues and for many users when they did a force restart it worked for them. So as you can see right now you see the Apple logo. So now we need to wait because this has to get completely loaded up and once it's completely loaded up you have to check and that will be working fine. So this is a very important step as well and you can try. And even after trying with this force restart, if you're still having an issue, then we just need to move to the fourth step. This is actually third step and we have to move to the fourth step. So let this get loaded up and I'll be showing you next. So now once afterwards, just get into your iPhone and you have to check whether the issue is solved. Still, if you're having the trouble, do not worry. The fourth step is all about you have to update your iOS to the latest version, which is means 17.1.2. So which is rolled out. So tap on the settings. Now from here, scroll down and navigate to general. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to software update. Now from here, you will be having 17.1.2, which is the latest released version. So just update your iPhone from here. And these are the possible workarounds that can be done. I hope this video is helpful and if this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.